The CN Tower in Toronto is the tallest uh, freestanding uh, structure in the Western Hemisphere at over 1,800 feet high. To give you an idea how, that, how tall that is, the Transamerica Building, the Transamerica Pyramid in San Francisco is just a bit over 800 feet uh, high, so uh, not even half as tall as the CN Tower there. And there's an elevator that runs uh, from the, uh, the base up to the top of the tower, uh, open to tourists uh, and maintenance people, I guess, as well. Okay. Hey, so the job on uh, this next force diagram is to look at the forces on a person, a passenger, you, as you ride up. Okay. Just a couple important notes on that. Okay, so let's take a look at that. So that I'm going to take that uh, elevator heads on up. When you're traveling on this, Except for the, right at the beginning or the end, you're traveling at a pretty at a constant velocity of 15 miles per hour up. That's about 22 feet per second. And notice I ended up saying constant velocity. That's going to be important in your evaluation. Constant velocity. And you'll be traveling up. All right. Um, in this one, make a quantitative force diagram. So include your weight. What is your weight? You can uh, do a little research, figure out what that is in Newtons. Okay, so, I think that's the important parts here. Good luck with that. Hey, the other part, the extension question on this one is, if you were to take the stairs instead of uh, taking the elevator, get enough this thing. How long would it take you to head up to the top of this uh, tower? Uh, hint I gave you in the uh, assignment is. Figure out how long it takes you go from, or estimate how long it takes you go from one floor to another, either in DePaul or LaSalle. Those floors are about 10 feet apart. Figure out how many of those would it take to get to the top of the CN Tower. All right, hey, good luck with this.